All right, YouTubers, welcome back. It is your favorite onion with a third State of Decay 2 Daybreak Weapons Review. And in this review, I'm going to be looking at the third unlockable weapon, the Clio Shotgun. Now, although the stats and specs for the weapon speak for themselves, I will be giving my evaluation on the weapon's abilities in combat. This would involve tactics that are best employed while the weapon is equipped, and my conclusive opinion. Evaluation will take place on four main fronts, ammunition economy, crowd control, pressure combat, and the most optimal role of the wielder. Alright, so opening up with the shotgun's ammunition economy, which is pretty much how long the weapon can practically last from wave to wave, the Clio shotgun has a relatively high magazine size for a shotgun, containing 16 rounds, and as should be standard with shotguns, has a very high damage output. In regards to ammo economy, just like the Clio Battle Rifle, this puts the weapon in very good standing for killing common zombies quickly without having to worry too much about ammo expenditure. Clio ammo packs come with 32 rounds, which for the Clio shotgun equates to 2 mags per ammo pack. Since the Clio shotgun has such great killing potential for every round, this makes it quite the ammo efficient weapon. The Clio shotgun's crosshairs are much wider compared to the Clio pistol and the Clio battle rifle. Consequently, performing headshots will be somewhat more difficult, but shouldn't demerit the weapon, as headshots are not necessarily where the shotgun shines. As a slight consolation, virtually any round that successfully hits a target within the effective range will cause some kind of dismemberment, and considering the crosshairs, hitting a target should be rather simple meaning that virtually every shot will be of good use, putting aside user error, of course. Aiming for the head must be priority no matter the weapon, but some weapons carry more penalty than others if the intended target is missed. At least with the Clio shotgun, headshot or not, there is very high chance your target will become dismembered and rendered a minimal threat. Unlike the previous two Clio weapons, armored zombies are a much smaller threat at the end of a Clio shotgun barrel. Provided they are in close range, not only will they get knocked down, but there is also a good chance of killing them regardless of their helmet being removed beforehand with a single round. And this of course is provided that one is aiming for the head. The main downfall for the Clio shotgun is the effective range. The range it is used at will determine the expenditure of ammo. Maximum shot to kill ratio is maintained at close range. Anything beyond will not guarantee similar results. Unlike the Clio Battle Rifle, the Clio Shotgun gives merit to its power even in the face of a Juggernaut. Within its ideal range, putting down a Juggernaut with the Clio Shotgun is a bit more economical than the Clio Battle Rifle, as it would take anywhere between 2-3 to three mags, or a mere 1-1.5 to one and a half Clio ammo packs, making it so far a worthwhile investment. Alright, so moving on to crowd control. Although crowd control makes up a relatively small frequency of occurrences, the chances of its need increases with each wave, and performing it properly can be the difference between progressing to the next wave, or your technician dying prematurely. The Clio shotgun is a semi-automatic weapon without an alternative fire setting. Although semi-automatic, the fire rate is not as fast as the user's trigger finger. There is a very minor delay between shots, but given the weapon's power, this does not take away from its ability to handle a crowd. The Clio shotgun has a high spread, allowing multiple targets to be eliminated with one round, and as discussed earlier, each round has a major potential to debilitate any targets within close range and sometimes mid-range. With the full magazine, this weapon is guaranteed to put down a sizable crowd, whether they are swarming the barricade, the technician, or the wielder. However, the Clio shotgun has a relatively slow reload when compared with the Clio pistol. Consequently, it is imperative that one is prepared to use their melee weapon as a small portion of zombies will target the wielder. Proper judgment is key. Although it is a shotgun, the user cannot be lazy in adequate targeting and prioritizing when to shoot versus when to strike with a melee weapon. But this will lead us into pressure combat. 
So, pressure combat refers to how efficiently a ranged weapon can be used to eliminate targets in multiple areas, or how well said weapon can complement your ability to eliminate multiple scattered enemies from various ranges. The Clio shotgun's range is its main detriment. Close range shooting is ideal. Mid range can be effective, but it is not the most reliable. With this in mind, the Clio shotgun is far from the ideal weapon to deal with a scattered onslaught. It is not impossible, but will be very taxing on the user's stamina as they will frequently be forced to close the distance on scattered foes. The only way pressure combat would be worth the wielder's effort is if they are pushing the effective range on the shotgun, which only bears inconsistent results and would squander the weapon's paramount abilities. On a further note, the Clio shotgun only has 16 rounds and can deplete quickly with subpar results when attempting to eliminate scattered targets. There is some advantage with the Clio shotgun in pressure combat, since it has a relatively wide spread, but closing the distance is imperative. If one is going to use this weapon for pressure combat, it is most advantageous when used in emergencies, i.e. when your barricades are down and your technician is dangerously exposed. At that point, most zombies will close the distance towards you anyway, provided of course you are guarding the technician allowing the Clio shotgun to be used for crowd control. Inadequate pressure combat, or lack thereof, creates the need for crowd control. Although nothing beats explosives, they are severely limited and a last resort. The best combatant can mix weapon fire with the use of their melee weapon appropriately. They just need the correct tools. The Clio shotgun is built to decimate, but the range is too limited to be used as a pressure relieving weapon. Additionally, the weapon has a rather slow reload. Even if one is successful in eliminating scattered targets, the reload speed and necessity for close range would allow too much time for pressure to resume and progress. This is emphasized more when there is a juggernaut, but this weapon can put them down with relative ease, giving it some advantage in pressure combat over the Clio battle rifle. Under emergency circumstances, the Clio shotgun truly shines and can save your technician from even the closest death. Similarly to the Clio pistol, close range shooting provides space for one's melee weapon to complement their defense. So moving on to the role designation. There are three roles weapons can fit into. Defensive, aggressive, or hybrid. This weapon was rather difficult to designate, but given everything about the Clio shotgun discussed so far, I would designate this weapon for a defensive role. The Clio shotgun is a weapon of extremes. It fulfills fewer niches, but fulfills them very well. This weapon has low versatility in ranged combat, but can kill or incapacitate groups of zombies with little effort. In the event of emergencies, the Clio shotgun can save you and your technician, and it can put down juggernauts with a reasonable amount of ammunition. The main shortcomings exist with range and reload speed, which is what holds it back from use in pressure combat. Consequently, the best way to capitalize on the weapon's attributes is to remain behind barricades playing a defensive role. The weapon can be used while playing an aggressive role, but will be taxing on your stamina and potentially a great amount of health. Alright, so my overall opinion. Shotguns have rarely been a favorite weapon of mine. However, I do appreciate what they are capable of, especially in high pressure circumstances. Although the waves get continuously difficult, the need for the shotgun becomes ever more apparent as the barricades fall and the zombie hordes increase in volume. As said earlier, shotguns fulfill a very specific niche, but it fulfills that niche extremely well. This weapon wouldn't be my first choice, but if put on a team without any hard hitters, I would see it as a reasonable choice in preparation for when or if the walls become breached. This weapon also has allowed me to get far, playing solo and on a team, and consequently lives up to its attributes. Out of a score of 5, I give this weapon a score of 3.8, or if rounded up, 4 out of 5. Hey, you reached the end of the video! Great job! Now hit subscribe!